Alright everyone, it's Rex, and you're watching Fierce Rex YouTube channel. Today, through this video, I present you guys the new NVIDIA app, with some super exciting features. It is a replacement of the old NVIDIA control panel, and NVIDIA GeForce experience, this software is currently on the beta form, still with its cool features, it's doing great. Anyways, so let's get it. Let's download the latest NVIDIA app, click on the link in the description to redirect into NVIDIA's official website, here you can see lots of info about the NVIDIA app. You can even see the difference of using dynamic vibrance in game. You can read it if you want, but let's just choose download beta. After downloading, simply install it. As I have the GeForce experience installed, so for me it's saying upgrade. When it starts up for the first time, you'll be getting this interface where you have to choose whether you want the Game Ready Driver or the NVIDIA Studio Driver. The Game Ready Driver is solely focused on giving the best experience for gamers, and the Studio Driver is supposed to be more stable for creators or animators. I'll be choosing the latest Studio Driver. Here check this thing, Optimize Games and Creative Applications. Here make sure you enable the NVIDIA Overlay. And there we have it the new NVDI app installed in our machine. In the Home tab we can access all the games from the library. The Drivers tab lets you update your graphics driver, you can even switch between Game Ready or Studio Driver from here. In the Graphics tab, we have all of our game's optimization settings, with this tab, you can easily optimize your any game of software for best performance. You can just hit optimize to optimize it automatically or you can customize your settings in your own way. Now head to the global settings option, here we'll be doing some changes. You can turn on the RTX vibrance and HDR mod if your GPU supports it. Select your GPU to your main one. DSR factors and image scaling should be off. Low latency mode to ultra. I would suggest you not to limit your FPS unless you get quiet unstable FPS, if you have very unstable FPS then you can try limiting it, monitor technology can be set to G-Sync compatible if your monitor supports it, and power management mode to prefer maximum performance, the shader cache size should be as big as possible, you can set it to unlimited, but for me I'll set it to 10 gigabytes, as I have shortage of space, vertical sync and virtual reality should be off. And lastly in the settings tab, here you can see a bit of information about your system and when you scroll a bit down, you can find two awesome features, check both of these features. With the game filters you can easily get shader type effects in any game, and with NVIDIA overlay you can monitor or record your game, or even screen. Here is a demo of how you can adjust your game's look with just a few clicks. Oh, I gotta school your ass. Here you can see how much of a difference you can make with the filters. Anyways back to the settings. You can check this option to automatically update your driver when any update is available. And if you don't find your game or app in the library, you can use the scan now button to scan for new app. Alright so you've watched Fierce Rex YouTube channel, and I hope you will remember me. Hope this video was helpful, feel free to show appreciation by hitting the like button. It took a lot to make this type of content. And yeah, with all due respect, love your parents, and take care of yourselves, see you in another video, bye for now. Oh yeah, here are some videos, might be useful for you, so you can check them out. Thanks.